Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a texturized curl. And the texturized product that I'll be using is the soft sheen. And this is these are the items that you will need to do a texturized curl. First of all, you want to start off with the texturized curl shape release, conditioner cold wave. And as you can see, it says phrase one, which means step one. So you will start off with this. Next, you will need the shape transform, transform. And that is phase step two. Next, you will need the shape lock, and this is to hold the curls in. So this is where it really make the curls form and everything. And it's still there. Okay. You will also, once you get finished and you take, do all that, then you need some rollers. You want to use like small to kind of not really medium size but like small small to about a medium size so I'll be using these and um maybe the pink ones and and shorter areas then I'll use the yellow ones because they're the smallest one okay you need the paper. This is what you will put the hair in and wrap the roller around. You will need gloves. You will need some cotton to place around the ear. Place around the hairline, basically. Okay. You will need the uh, moisturized finish roll. So once you get done, you take the rolls out. You will wear some of this on. You can use this daily, like, you know, every other day. You put this on to keep your curls moisturized and balanced. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, you will need a, you will need the uh, moisturized finish and you would just spray this on. You can spray this on every day, every other day. Oh yeah, you would need something like a spray bottle or one of these or something. Because step three is very liquidy. So it's better if you put it like in the bottle and just actually spray it on the rollers. Step two is more thick. So you can actually leave this in and just rub it. You know, do you have? Alrighty, so let's get started. If you want to see how to achieve a tasty ride curl on anybody's hair or your own hair, then continue watching. So all you're going to do, you're going to put the gloves on and you're going to put this on like you do a relaxer. If you ever got a relaxer, then you would just put this on. It's basically just to loosen the hair and make it soft. That's basically what that does. So just like you do the best, you will part your hair in three or four sessions and you will put this on. So that's what I would do. I would part it in three or four sessions and put it on.
Okay, yeah, so I am done putting the cold cream, cold wave on and smoothing it out. So what you would do, you would let this sit for 15 minutes, don't go over 15 minutes. Let it sit for 15 minutes and you will rinse out. No shampoo, no conditioner, none of that. Just rinse out with warm water and come back and go to step two. So I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes then. Rinse out and I'll be back. Okay, so I have rinsed. The cold wave out of her hair, you want to make sure that you rinse it out good. All right. You're going to leave the hair wet, no blow dry, no air dry, you're just going to leave it wet. And keep a spray bottle of water with you just in case it starts to get dry or anything. Okay, so now. What you're going to do is you're going to part the hair in nine sections. So you can start by going down into three rows or going across three rows. It doesn't matter. But you're going to make sure you have nine sections. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then in the back. One, two, three. I have part of her heart, her hair, nine sections. Three, three, and on this side, and on this side, and the middle. So what you're going to do is you're going to start in the middle first. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to make small to medium sections. I'm going to go about this one. Okay. Put the rest of the hair. Actually, And what you can do, you can add step two um, out over the hair and then add the rollers, or you can add the rollers first. Me, I add the rollers first, then I go back and pull it out over the rollers. Uh, the reason why, because I'm, I don't roll that fast, so I mean, the stuff would dry, you know, if I put it on first. But if you're a fast roller, then you can put this on first and then roll, but I'm not that, that bad. I'm not that slow, I'm not that fast, or whatever. So, like I say, take this spray, this spray bottle, water bottle, get your paper, and you're going to put it in the hair, and you can put, you can use two, one in the front, and put the paper in the back, or you can use one paper, and fold it together like a book. Okay. Now, if the hair is dry, you will get the water bottle. Spray one or two times. And this front side, front section is where it's supposed to be used yellow, the smallest roll. And you will roll it. So, 
I'm going to continue to do each session just like I did. And like I said, some areas start to get a little wet, just squirt one to water and then go ahead and go. So I'll go ahead and do the whole head. Well, when you put the stuff on in case something kind of runs out on the side, which the cotton should protect it, but sometimes, you know, somebody drip or something, they can, you know, wipe it out so they won't get in their eye. So, now I'm going to take step two. And you're just going to shake it up. And you're going to put it on each Row one by one. <laughs> okay, so I had a lot to roll the stock for another five minutes, so I'm gonna go and rinse it out and I'll be right back to do the last step to activate the curve. Okay, so I rinse the stuff out of here, the curl and transform. Now we're going to add step three, which is the shape lock. We're going to add this, and I spray, I pulled some of it in a bottle because it's liquid, and you got to spray it on your head like this. You're going to get, make sure your clients still got their towel because it will get in their eyes, so they hold it over their face and you spray it. And you spray each roller. And you don't have to fill the bottle up. You can just put a little at a time. And if you feel like you need some more, then you put some more. Okay, so we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. There go the baby, y'all. She woke. Hmm? So we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Then we're going to go rinse it out. Do not take the rollers out yet. You rinse it out. And then you take the rollers out. Rinse it out with cool water. And... Uh, rinse it out good for like five minutes and make sure you got everything out there good before you remove the rolls.
Okay, so I'm done taking the roses out. So the last thing that you want to do, you want to add some of the moisturized finishing lotion. And you want to add some of the moisturized spray. So y'all can see how good it turned out real nice. Okay, so one, two more things I want to say. Um, when you do a curl, texture curl, jelly curl, um, soft curl, whatever kind of curls you do, remember you do not comb your hair for the first 24 hours. Don't comb your hair and you do not wash, shampoo, you don't do none of that to your hair. So when you wake up the next morning, you know, you just use your finger. You probably won't even have to use your finger. But no comb for a while and no shampoo or conditioner. So I'm done doing my hair. And remember, this is the name of the product that I use. So if you ever use this product, let me know how it turned out. And I thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a pleasant one. Bye.